What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to fix every kind of crashing, freezing or lagging issue you're currently having with Payday 2. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will probably know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want to you guys know, let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys. You would support my work in YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say let's get right started. So the first step in order to fix these kind of issues is gonna be to open up your task manager by just simply using the shortcut and navigating down to your taskbar, right clicking it and opening up your task manager. What I want you to do next is gonna be to navigate to the top left corner of your screen and ensuring that you're sticking around processes. Next step is going to sound a little bit weird guys, but trust me, if you're doing that, you, uh, you, it will help you a lot. So what I want you to do is going to be to right click every single task which has nothing to do with Windows and simply end it. Why I want you to do that? Two reasons for that. So first of all, uh, too many applications, programs, games and background processes running at the same time on a low end PC will cause crashing, freezing or lagging because your PC can't handle that anymore. And the second reason like it was for me is that sometimes, don't ask me why, background, uh, background processes or other applications are gonna third party a game causing it to crash or to freeze in some way. And by just ending every single task, you're avoiding this issue. So once you've finished, you should be able to end this task again. And the next step is gonna be to search an empty spot right on your desktop. So we're gonna right click, display settings, Stick around display and as the first step I want you to identify which your main monitor is. Obviously this just applies if you have more than one monitor. So once it is identified, scroll down to scale and layout. We want you to stick around change the size of text apps and other items to, and change it to 100% as recommended. The display resolution should be the same as in games. So for example, if you're having a game 70, 20, but 70, I want you to simply apply this also to the display resolution. So once you're finished, I want you to end this task. And the next step is going to be to navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen, opening up your settings, navigating to update and security, and sticking around Windows Update. And I know guys it's going to sound a little bit basic, but trust me, updating every single driver you could possibly update on your PC will help you with like every kind of issue you're currently having with your PC, and also with crashing, freezing, or lagging. So download the latest version of Windows, provide the best possible performance for your PC, and it will help you a lot. Once you're finished, you should be able to end this task. And do the same thing for a graphics storage. So if you have AMD, you have Nvidia, doesn't really matter. Go to the browser, go to the application and download the latest version of that just to provide the best possible performance in general for your PC. That's it for the video, guys. I hope that I could actually help you out with this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. I'm gonna really be thankful for that. And I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just gonna do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.